Good morning, good morning. I hope you are doing well, enjoying your extra hour of sleep and this crispy weather finally for our jackets and our sweaters and our scarves and our layers. Um, I was at this book fair yesterday. I was just thinking like, when we decide to share our story, our message, um, our lives with other, when we decide to become visible, we don't really control what happens next. We can't control what that activates in other people. We can't control the judgment or the criticism. A big way to do that is through writing, um, kind of just free flowing therapeutic writing um, without any bars or holding back. Other people can't tell you who you are and you tell the world who you are before they do. When I was a little, kid growing up, mom made a comment to me one time that I didn't really understand until I was older. And she said that, Ross, sometimes people are at war with you and you don't even know. And I, at the time when she said that people are at war with me and I don't even know, I was like, what does that mean? It's because sometimes we become symbols of something in society some type of social stigma, some type of prejudice, hatred, and we're not really aware of it. If you're a little black boy walking down the street, for some people, you represent something, right? You don't get a chance to control your message as a little black boy. It's like, oh, but I'm not a criminal or I'm not a whatever the person's idea is. You don't get to control that. You are just what you are. They see what you see. And sometimes, the little black boys activate hatred and prejudice and stuff in people and you don't get to control the message but as i think about the book fair i think wow what a powerful way to be visible with your with whichever you want to say the writing the personal narrative the personal development improvement you get to share what it means to be your black or your bi or whatever else, right? But two, there's a piece of it where you have to surrender because you can't control. You don't know what happens next. It's very powerful, right? When despite the social stigma, whatever the narrative is, you take an act of choosing yourself that's always powerful. And I think sometimes when we look at things that uh, people are sharing, like, oh, well, what's the point? Or, oh, I don't get it. We have to be aware of what the social narrative and the stigma is around that issue. And it takes a second to, to get it. Uh, because some of us, some people will say, oh, look at that little black boy. Oh, he's so cute, hi. But then in other people, I gotta kill him really quick. Several years ago, I was in Singapore and they had this huge bungee jump. And I was like, you know what? I've never bungeed before. I did the skydiving, but I didn't bungee. And I remember I got up at the top of the bungee, like my knees, everything was just shaking, right? Because your body clearly is saying, if you don't get off this ledge and sit your black ass down. But when I stood right at the, like, um, edge of the platform and you look down and your body's like no 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 in my mind the moment I decided to surrender and I wish that we could bottle that feeling the moment I decided to you know what I'm just gonna give in and let this go and whatever happens next happens next the moment I decided to do that on that platform ledge you just felt free you were not attached to any narrative, any outcome, nothing. And it's naive to say that we can do that as a society or world, but I think that's something definitely to aim towards and to be intentional about. So that's all I want to get on here and say, have a happy Sunday. Take care of yourself, take care of your back.